This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Apps. So, uh, one quick topic on uh, Java memory allocation point of view. This is something very important. You must have heard about that, okay, we are getting some time out of memory exception or uh, you know, stack overflow exception, something like this. Or maybe you have heard some solution like you can use XMS, XMX, XMS, and XMN. What do you mean by this? All these uh, you know, keywords. <clears throat> so these keywords are used to control your Java heap size memory allocation. Okay, you can use the maximum size as well as you can use the initial size. So we will talk about this is very, very important for interview point of view. So make sure that, okay, you know what is the heap size, what is the, how to declare the heap size, can you configure in your Eclipse, and then what do you mean by this? People might ask you at a time of interview. So the question is that, uh, what do you mean by this? Okay, so this is Java memory frequency, a question that, okay, how do I control the amount of memory my Java program, which is used by Java, which is used by JVM in the form of RAM. RAM means your operating system RAM. So the short answer is that you use these Java command line parameters to help control the RAM use of application. And you can use these command line arguments when you execute your program, okay, from the command line as well as from Eclipse also or whatever the code editor that you are using it. So XMS X minus X XMS X is means to specify the maximum heap size because we know that okay objects will be created inside the heap and then we can give that okay what exactly the heap size okay we want to give so you can use the xms x command line argument xms s to specify the initial java heap size so remember mx means the maximum heap size xms to specify the initial java heap size or if you really want to define some uh, thread stack size in that case you have to use xss so sometimes you see that okay let's say you are creating uh, you are executing your java program and Java exceeds the default memory size. Let's say your default memory size is around 500 MB or maybe, okay, or maybe let's say one GB or five, one GB is too much. Let's say 500 MB or 256 MB or 40 MB, whatever that, okay, you have defined. And if you're going beyond the memory allocation, it means your heap size is totally full. You don't have any, uh, you know, memory space available over there. In that case, sometimes you will be getting out of memory exception. Okay, and your virtual machine will be terminated automatically. <clears throat> so VM will be terminated. So to solve this problem, what we have to do, guys, to solve this particular problem, you have to use these syntax. So you have to configure like this. So what is the syntax? The syntax is very simple. The memory, amount of memory you want to use. So you can define, let's see, XMS X, XMS S64 MN means megabyte. Or you can simply write XMS 64 capital M also. So it doesn't matter you're writing a small M or capital M, both are same thing. If you're writing XMS X 1 GB, in that case, what you have to do, it means this is 1 GB, okay, or capital 1 GB, 1 G also, you can simply write it over here. This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Some other example you can write, let's see if you want to define uh, 512 MB is a minimal, si uh, minimal size. So you can simply write XMS X2, XMS X2 1024 M. Okay, so 1024 megabyte. Okay, you can write this is the maximum size. So Java process will start with 512 MB of the memory heap and can use up to the maximum size is 1024 megabyte or you can simply write 1 GB also. So if you re really want to write in 1 G, 1G is equal to 1024 megabyte. That also you can simply write it. XMS X and both can be defined in different size such as kilobytes, megabytes, and gigabytes. So if you write, let's see, you want to write in kilobytes. So simply you write 2048 kilobyte. You can simply write 1024 megabyte and 2G means two gigabytes. Like that also you can simply use it, right? So one gigabyte is equal to 1024 and one gigabyte is equal to 2048 kilobytes right guys so you can write in these three formats now what is <clears throat> the default size and xms size in bytes so set the initial size of the java heap as i told you the default size people might ask you at a time of interview the xms default size is 2 mb 
okay the default size if you don't declare anything automatically java will start with 2 mb of the xms size the value must be multiple of and greater than 1024 bytes it should be greater than 1 kilobytes okay and then it can default size increase the default size up to 32 megabyte also now uh, xmn n you will talk about so xmn n i'll tell you in some time but before that let's talk about xms x set the maximum size okay this is for the maximum size for the java heap and the default size is 64 mb and the server flag increases the default size to up to 128 mb that you can define and the maximum heap limit is about 2 gb like that so an xmn n is for the hidden generation where exactly the java objects are getting <coughs> created okay from the hidden generation from hidden generation to the you know the space generation s0 s1 and then objects will be moved to the old generation so i'm not talking about the memory allocation point of view so xmn n there's a space that is called hidden generation inside the java heap so default size also 640 if you really want to define the size for the hidden generation also you can simply do it but generally we don't use we generally most of the time we will be using the initial size to the maximum size like that now if you type uh, let's see java x memory okay java x java minus x x mixed uh, mode execution it means this is called x mode execution you will be getting a lot of uh, you know options over there so i'll show you practically so let's say i'll go to my terminal you go to your terminal and then uh, or command prompt you simply write java space hyphen capital x so the moment you write it will give you a lot of options over here you can see that c minus x end and all those things so you can see that xms size set the initial java heap size xms x the set maximum java heap size xss set the java thread stack size like that also you can simply define it so now you can see number of options you don't need to learn about each and every option but most of the time okay we will be using xms s and xms x so uh, as i told you that uh, different naming convention like i mean different uh, heap size convention you can use the argument like uh, m or capital m both you can use it for mb g or small g you can use it for gigabyte and your setting will not work if you specifically write mb or gb okay so valid argument should look like xms x 64 mb to 64 mb like this you can simply write it i mean not to 64 m or 64 capital m you can write it you can simply write 1g or capital 1g also that is for the maximum heap size and uh, as i told you it can be defined in kilobytes like this also you can simply write it but if you try to write let's see 500 mb you can simply write 500 mb like this is a valid option but if you write 0 0.5 gb this will cause an error okay so you cannot write the decimal number like this so you have to convert either into full kilobytes or megabytes okay then only you can simply write it so let's see if you want to write 5 gb in that case 5 into multiplied by uh, 1024 like that so you accordingly you have to convert that into megabyte and kilobyte so 0 0.5 1.5 2.5 these things are not allowed over here so this is a wrong syntax right now <clears throat> so i'll show you practically how can you do that in eclipse so in eclipse what you have to do i'll show you that uh, let's go to eclipse in eclipse let's say i'll execute any random java program so let's see i'll go to any let's see i'll go to my java sessions any java session let's see array concept I want to execute this particular program. So you right click on it and go to run as Java application. You will see that okay, some execution is happening over here. And then you right click on it, you simply go to run <coughs> configuration. And in the run configuration, you what you do, you simply go to arguments. And here you have to pass the VM virtual machine argument. So how will you pass? To pass the virtual machine argument, guys, what you have to do minus capital X MS. The initial size is 512 m okay it means 500 okay megabyte that you have to use it and then up to you have to use minus x m x 1024 megabyte so like this you can simply okay configure it sometimes if you are getting a stack overflow exception or something like this in that case you can increase the size over here and then you can simply run it your program and then you will see like that okay if you really want to define as a, a global configuration in eclipse you simply go to run and go to your uh, run configuration inside the run configuration you simply search for java application 
double click on this java application and here you need to go to arguments and pass the vm over here what kind of uh, initial size and the <clears throat> maximum size of the heap allocation you want to give over here so you can simply write it like this over here as well okay or if you're run, let's say running from maven or shell scripting okay they are also using the shell scripting you can simply define the maximum size with the same format xms s and xms x remember guys these two terminologies you have to remember okay so xm xms means initial size and xm x means the maximum size that you are giving for that particular allocation for your java heap right guys so this is very very important concept people might ask you what do you mean by these two tags okay what did uh, uh, what do you mean by options what is the right syntax and how will you allocate these memory space for that so remember this thing maximum heap size initial java heap size and the thread stack size for all the static variable in thread and all the threads and everything is stack size okay will be used so if you really want to increase your thread stack size and then you have to use xss over here like that okay so this is the something like uh, important thing sometimes we get this particular error java <coughs> uh, lying out of memory it means you are full of memory you are not able to let's say you are creating a lot of objects and your memory size is uh, very less in that case you will be getting java <coughs> lying out of memory exception it means your java is exceeding xmsx it means that, uh, the the maximum range that you have given whatever let's see uh, you know 2 mb or 3 mb or 5 mb or whatever okay or 1024 mb it means 1 gb that you have given in that case it will be a problem okay so be careful while giving the memory size like that one important thing in java 13 what exactly they have done in java 13 let's see if you are giving the run configuration like this in your run configuration if you're passing let's see 1024 for this guy i mean 512 for this guy and uh, highest also you're giving this and if you're using jdk 13 so both the size cannot be same so it will nullify this particular option okay so this option will not be applied so make sure that okay if you're using jdk 13 uh, maximum size and the initial size okay should not be same the maximum size should be greater than your initial size initial capacity right guys so that's all for this particular video you can simple uh, check it in your eclipse and you can execute it one more important thing that sometimes what happens that okay in eclipse.ini file is there in your laptop i cannot show you in my mac machine but uh, i really don't want to show that so you just go to your eclipse.ini so if you really want to speed up your uh, eclipse dot you know eclipse uh, speed or uh, eclipse is also using because eclipse is also a kind of java based program java based editor so if you really want that okay hey, uh, uh, my eclipse should be executing on the specific memory space size you can increase the size for eclipse also so you simply go to eclipse.ini file and there you simply define these two configurations over here like that okay so you will see that okay the default uh, configuration is already there in eclipse.ini file but i would recommend you not to change it over there and then like this you can simply define it same thing sometimes we get uh, through jenkins let's see you're configuring through jenkins and sometimes we see that okay your vm is terminated or virtual machine is suddenly shut down or something like this it means your java is out of memory and you have to increase the size of your jvm heap okay so be remember be careful while doing all these things so you, people might ask you at a time of interview this is something very important for java memory allocation point of view or heap size point of view right guys so thank you so much thanks for watching this particular video and let me know if you have any issues thank you so much